One more thing before we go. Enough with the memes, Mr. President. That's Senator Chuck Schumer's words, not mine. Those are, at least. The minority leader called on the president to end the shutdown instead of unleashing Game of Thrones spoofs, which he did twice last week. The first was at Wednesday's cabinet meeting at the White House. You might have noticed that big poster on the desk. The sanctions are coming poster in front of him as he went on and 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 on for more than an hour about the shutdown and the need for a concrete barrier. And then late Thursday, it happened again on Instagram, a meme reading, the wall is coming. The president is obvi obviously playing off the, pr off the phrase, winter is coming, which is used by the show's protagonist, the Stark family. To be clear, he's used some version of the phrase dating back to November when he reimposed sanctions on Iran. But the poster's presence last week used to amplify the president's call for a wall, a physical barrier, all but solidifies the president is not an avid watcher of Game of Thrones. Lots of you folks out there have noticed this. Here's the thing. If you watch Game of Thrones, you know we got a big lesson in walls at the end of last season, courtesy of the Night King. And if you're not caught up, spoiler alert, close your eyes, cover your ears, now. Ali Velshi, keep your eyes closed, keep your ears shut. The Ice Dragon. I said that right, the ice dragon, no more wall. So what's going to happen next season? I don't know, I guess you have to tune into this presidency to find out. <laughs> Back to the point, though. If you're really a big fan of Game of Thrones, you'll also remember this moment from an earlier season when Jon Snow, whose family motto, the president is spoofing, led a caravan of, of refugees, wildlings, through the castle black wall. Hat tip to the Washington Post, Avi Selk, for that reminder. But guys, the symbolism, it is so rich, so rich. Or in the wise words of Alanis of House Morissette, isn't it ironic? <laughs> we talked about that Democratic response to President Trump tonight. Casey Hunt is joining us. And Casey, we now know who it's going to be, right? We do, Hallie. A joint announcement uh, coming from Nancy Pelosi, the House Speaker, and Chuck Schumer, the Minority Leader, that they will deliver this uh, response uh, together tonight, mm. the two of them, at the conclusion of this 9 o'clock address. So Speaker Pelosi, House Minority, or excuse me, Senate Minority Leader uh, Chuck Schumer to deliver this. It's going to be at the Speaker's Balcony uh, hallway, which of course is a, a space available to Nancy Pelosi as she is uh, the Speaker of the House. And as uh, you have pointed out several times in this broadcast, at NBC, of course, planning uh, on providing that to our viewers in the wake of the president's uh, address tonight. And Hallie, like we were talking about before, I think you're going to see uh, Democrats focus quite a bit on uh, a different set of facts here uh, to dispute basically the underlying notion that the president's going to argue for that this that this does represent a national security and humanitarian uh, crisis at the border because they don't believe Democrats here that many of the uh, supporting arguments that this administration has been making really hold up uh, under scrutiny. So uh, again, this shutdown has really become something of a moral argument with both sides really mm. dug in, refusing to budge. The president really backed in into a corner in a lot of ways. Ways, and Democrats uh, really have no intention uh, of giving him anything that will allow him to say uh, that they signed off on building a quote unquote wall, Hallie. Casey Hunt bringing us that developing news uh, from Capitol Hill. This just in. Casey, thank you much. All of this, you know, is, is in the public domain. The president will speak about this crisis on our southern border. And, but when you have even the Washington Post uh, saying that we have a bona fide emergency on our southern border over this weekend. It's time for Congress to act. It's time for the Democrats in Congress to come to the table and start negotiating, not just to end this partial government shutdown, but to address what is a, a genuine humanitarian and security crisis on our southern border.